What is art? According to the dictionary, art is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form such as a painting or sculpture, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. But why do we create art? First, some history. Art has been found in nearly all early human settlements. A majority of all the art found has some sort of religious connection. Art has even been found in early Neanderthal settlements. Art really got started around the time of the Greeks. Art from this time period is centered around the human form and mainly religiously geared. Because of their obsession with the human form, a lot of their art is majorly NSFW. For a long time, art was basically only icons and other religious stuff. The other thing art was used for during this time period was legitimization. Leaders would be portrayed with gods or with mythical attributes in a way to legitimize their rule. For the most part though, art remained very churchy in the West, but in the East there is a rejection of icons, leaving art to be more focused on calligraphy and architecture. This brings us to the Renaissance, which introduced abstract storytelling and the use of myth in art, as well as the first use of academic art, and new painting techniques like this anamorphic skull in this painting by Hans Holbein the Younger. Also, the inclusion of sponsoring families in art, another form of legitimization. And of course, the hearkening back to earlier, better Grecian times. Of course, many of these paintings were sponsored by the church, which creates a major historical bias in terms of art. Another facet of the Renaissance was its plentiful number of portraits. Since during this time period, art began to be seen as a commodity, many rich families would have portraits made of themselves sort of like a status symbol of the time, also a form of legitimization. <sighs> Seriously, that's a lot of portraits, a majority of which were painted by none other than Hans Holbein the Younger. This brings us to the Age of Enlightenment, where art went from being churchy to secular. It was used for the spreading of knowledge and the commemoration of event, and don't worry, there are still plenty of portraits. Another new thing was the use of art for commercial and political purposes, creating the distinction between fine art and commercial art. This brings us to the 20th century, which brought a whole host of new art styles, such as Fauvism, Expressionism, Surrealism, Abstract Art, Minimalism, and Cubism, to name a few. It was also during the 20th century that art began to be used for a much darker purpose, propaganda. Though propaganda was not a new thing, during this time period certain countries like Germany and the Soviet Union began to use propaganda as a way to control the public and encourage their own manifestos, another form of legitimization. As Adolf Hitler himself said, thus I soon came to realize that the right use of propaganda was an art in itself. One of my favorite examples of propaganda from the time period is this picture. This man, Nikolai Ezhov, was executed shortly after this picture was taken. Soviet censors then edited him out of the picture that was officially released to the public. We've gone from prehistoric art to propaganda, but that still doesn't answer the question why we create art. One of the main reasons is expression. Artist Bob Ross once said, I can't think of anything more rewarding than being able to express yourself to others through painting. Exercising the imagination, experimenting with talents, being creative, these things to me are truly windows to your soul. Which is true, a lot of artists' paintings are based on the way they see the world, exaggerating features that they find beautiful. Joseph de Croix is famous for his portraits of people in comical positions, which has not only earned him his own meme, but is a perfect example of self-expression in art. Another reason for art is people's quest for beauty and perfection. Faces with perfect symmetry or pictures that are visually interesting have been shown to hyperactivate neurons, giving an effect similar to that of one seeing their lover. Art can also be functional. Vases and rugs, as well as architecture, are all still art. So why do we create art? Well, there's not really one answer. Expression, control, status, and the quest for perfection are all reasons why we, as a species, create art.